Well, I've got my uh, story stick here uh, clamped on to the side and I'll use it to mark uh, where the drawer dividers are. So we've got four drawers, a uh, three and three quarters, four and three quarters, five and three quarters, and six and a half. And uh, this is the, I make a story stick almost for every, every case piece that I uh, make. It just makes it so much easier to, to mark things out and have it match particularly from side to side and front to back so that's what I'm doing at the moment Well, I got the uh, drawer dividers installed today. Um, if I hadn't been shooting uh, too much video, uh, to you could go back to the old one to take a look at how I did it. But uh, I uh, had the mahogany here in the front and glued uh, two inches of uh, poplar to the back. And uh, then, of course, put the cock beading on and then cleaned up, I carved out the insides here to get that where I wanted it to be. Dovetailed uh, three inches on the edges here and then put a dovetail socket in the sides and uh, then whacked them together here so they, uh, they fit good and tight at the moment. So the carcass is coming along. Um, I've got a, a, the cutoffs here somewhere, but anyway, there's a piece that goes on the front here that uh, matches the grain on the end and um, the next step is to put a sliding dovetail on the top here uh, the top of the side uh, so that it slips into the top the underside of the top so uh, it's coming along well I got the uh, drawer blades in now and I made the top and um, made the slot and fitted it on there so that'll help keep the case square and it's a beautiful piece of mahogany I love the pattern uh, of the grain that there is on the top and then down here you can see uh, one of the feet so it's about as high as it will be once the feet are on there so uh, this is uh, the end of the carcass um, well, I made my uh, strips that cover the uh, dovetails here and create the uh, recess for the uh, cock beating. So originally, as, as I had mentioned before, I kept the piece that I ripped off the front of this at the time I uh, made the two sides. This is that piece. So right now it's uh, 3 eighths of an inch. thick and um, it's a, a eighth of an inch narrower than the whole side and uh, what it does is it ends up flush here uh, where the recesses of the cock beating are and it creates a recess here of a half of an inch uh, for the cock beating to go in and then it will be mitered right here on the on that corner so if you look at the side here because it was a piece was ripped off the grain matches uh, of course up and down and there will be a hair of a glue line there but you won't see it um, and of course that would be sanded off so I made the other side one of the reasons that I made it was uh, so that I could 
figure out exactly where that miter ends right there. So now I have to take apart the chest, cut that miter, and then we're uh, ready to go for the, uh, the glue up. Well, the glue up is uh, pretty much complete here. Uh, we've uh, glued in the uh, drawer blades and then I just glued on the uh, front piece here. So this is the piece that hides the dovetails and creates the recess here for the uh, cock beating. So pretty much the, the carcass is uh, done. So we got to start working on the molding down here and uh, drawer runners in the back there. <laughs> 